Hey everyone. So companies these days are releasing some really top of the notch great wireless earphones and wireless headphones. And some of them actually have really good active noise cancelling as well. So I recently got the Sony's, uh, the WF-1000 XM3's. So I did a review of these and these are really quite good. Now when you think of active noise cancelling Bluetooth headphones, uh, they sell you the idea of using them on the train, on the bus, in noisy environments. And the number one place that these things come in handy, especially the active noise cancelling, is on the plane, right? So you buy these and you take them on the plane thinking that you're going to use this. But then, when you go on the plane, reality hits, right? Planes use these crappy two-prong adapters that you can't even plug regular headphones in and there's no way in hell you're going to be able to get Bluetooth connectivity to the plane's entertainment system. So what do you do? You end up using these crappy in-ear airplane headsets that they give you, right? They're total trash. Now, I came across this thing. So this is the XCD Bluetooth audio adapter. It's both a transmitter and a receiver. So what that means is you can actually plug this thing into the plane seat and then convert the audio output from the plane's you know, in-flight entertainment system into Bluetooth. So when you go on the plane, you can actually plug this device. It actually has a battery as well, so you don't have to plug it in, you don't have to power it. Uh, and then you're able to connect your headphones to this thing, which then connects to the airplane's entertainment system, allowing you to watch all the movies you want from the plane, but using your fancy noise cancelling headphones. Now, I actually used this uh, on a flight to Singapore uh, just now, actually, and they're actually quite good. Advertised uh, time on the back says about eight hours of working time. Now, on my flight, my flight wasn't even eight hours, it was only like seven hours. These died after about six. So you can't really trust the eight hours, but six is still pretty good. Now, the one saving grace for these things, so I've already unboxed it, is that you can actually charge it while it is uh, plugged in, while it's in use. Um, so all airline seats these days, they give you a, a USB port, so you can charge this thing, keep it powered via the USB port, and basically have unlimited uh, wireless connectivity to the airline entertainment system. Now, while using this on the plane, uh, I discovered there was a very slight latency or lag between the audio and the video. So what that means is, uh, after it comes out via Bluetooth, there is a slight delay. Now, I watched about two movies before I realized this, so the delay is so slight that most people probably won't even notice it. Now, the, this particular product, it's good. Uh, I'm sure there are better ones out there, uh, but if you want like a generic, a quick, easy fix uh, for this airline, you know, situation, then go ahead, grab this particular one, or grab any, any um, Bluetooth audio adapter, and it will greatly improve your experience, uh, especially if you've bought, you know, nice, fancy um, noise-canceling headphones. So uh, that's it. I hope this was useful, and uh, thanks for watching.